Hey, this is Rachel from the blog thislovelylittlefarmhouse.com and today I'm going to share with y'all how with a little bit of patience and persistence you can find really good deals at the thrift store and garage sales that will bring instant farmhouse charm to any home. So I admit I'm a big time treasure hunter. It's all about the hunt. I'm always for just checking that next little shelf because you might find something really cool. Um, and it's so, so exciting when you find something like, uh, you know, a beautiful platter for a couple of bucks or this really neat antique basket. One time when I was pregnant, I found three pair of almost brand spanking new maternity jeans for $5 a piece at the thrift store and they cost $50 new. So that was so exciting. Stuff like that. Like I'm all about finding the good deal and the really neat stuff. As a matter of fact, at one point, I really seriously considered going to school to be an archaeologist because I love digging for treasure that much. I like uncovering cool stuff. Uh, we used to have this place at our, where I grew up at our farm where I grew up that was the trash pile for all the people, the old people who lived there in the house way, way before they had, uh, before we lived there and way before they had trash pickup. This is where they threw all their trash, it, just in a dump. And I used to go back there all the time. One of my favorite things to do, go dig through that. I would find old Coke bottles and root beer bottles and whiskey bottles and broken little pieces of plates and little cups and all kinds of stuff. I just thought it was the best thing in the world. I love doing stuff like that. It's just fun for me. So I'm a treasure hunter and I'm sure that's where my love for thrifting and bargain shopping comes from as well. And when I was little, my mom really did a good job instilling in me the love of all things old and antiques and the history of them and the character of them. And I love how well things were made back in the day. They just don't make them like that anymore now. Everything is disposable. It's just not the same. And how much character it has and the history of it. I know I said the history of it like three times, but that's what I love. I love history. And so to me, that means something. Now, before I tell y'all, uh, my top finds, how I think you can really easily add that authentic farmhouse decor into your home. I want to talk a little bit about minimalism versus collections because this is something that I've really been thinking about lately. I, up until now, don't know that I would say I'm a collection person, but I definitely have had some clutter in my house. It's really getting on my nerves because I can get clean because there's too much stuff. I have stuff that doesn't have a home because it's just random. So I've been definitely shifting more toward minimalism, getting rid of the extra stuff, getting rid of the clutter, only keeping things that you use or that you need. So I've been thinking that for me, really what I want to go is kind of between the two. I love all the old stuff and the antiques, but I also don't want to have tons of clutter in my house. So what I'm going to attempt to do in my home is to kind of fuse the two and have only things that really make me happy, things that bring me joy, things that when I walk through my house, I will totally love it. So that's what I'm going to try to have in my house, not just random clutter that's going to make me even more stressed because I can't clean my house and my house is just filthy and cluttered and I have a baby and she's getting into everything and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm going for is to get things that one can be functional. Not all of the antiques that I get will be functional, but a lot of them I like to have can be functional. And two things that just really, when I walk through and see them, they make me happy. So that's what I'm going to go for. Be careful because some of these things, if you start collecting up little things, they can quickly get out of control and then you'll have that clutter issue and that's something that I personally am trying to avoid. So let's get on to my top authentic farmhouse decor items that you can easily find in a thrift store, at garage sales, um, to add that farmhouse charm to your home. Okay, so first, wooden rolling pins. I really love wooden rolling pins. They look so nice with a small collection of them in a crock or a pitcher sitting on the counter, sitting, um, you know, in front of a basket or something. They just, to me, they're so homey. Um, 
There's just something about them that makes me think about, you know, a mom and her daughter with their aprons on in the kitchen rolling out pie crust or shortbread cookies or something like that. Just with nothing in the world to do but enjoy being each other with each other and making their memories and making their pie. Uh, very A very sentimental, sappy thought, I know, but somebody's got to be like that, so... And also, you know, the plain wood ones are really nice, but they also have the ones that have the red handles. I love those. I don't have one of those in my collection yet, but that's what I'm hoping to get soon is one of the old ones with the red handles. Of wooden spoons. This, to me, is probably the most practical of my farmhouse finds because I literally made a picture of these on my counter next to my stove that I use every day. Almost every single day I'm using one of these. You can even, they're cheap enough, you can even go buy brand new ones from the store. And if you start using them within not very long, they're going to look like the real deal old ones. Because they just age so nicely. They get that patina really quickly. So this is the probably cheapest, easiest farmhouse thing that you can add to your home that's practical and you can use it all the time. Linens are something that just add a really nice texture. I use linens a lot as photography props when I'm taking pictures kind of still lifestyle. When you're taking a picture of something that's hard and inanimate, it makes a big difference to have it sitting on something softer and it adds texture and dimension. Linens are perfect for adding that into a picture. And I love the old ones. You probably can't see the detail very well, but they have the hand tatted and hand crocheted edges that these ladies sat when they had tons of work to do. They didn't have the modern conveniences. They didn't have dishwashers and washing machines and all these things that they had to do by hand. Hard labor work to do all of their chores. But yet, in the evenings, when all that was done, they would sit and, be and add beauty to their everyday life. I just... That, that amazes me and I think we should really take a lesson from those ladies and add in things to our lives that we find beautiful and that make us happy and bring us joy when we're in these spaces. So I love the antique linens for that. You can pick them up pretty easily at antique stores. They're probably a little more expensive but thrift stores, garage sales, you can find them with little hand embroidery par um, flowers and leaves on them. I love these kind with the little filet crochet where you can see the um, pattern in it where it's crocheted. They're just so pretty and to add to your collection. Ironstone. Ironstone is one of those things that's just a farmhouse classic. You can't go wrong with it. No matter how you look at it, you can't go wrong with ironstone. This is a um, kind of a shallow bowl that I got at I got all these ironstone pieces at an estate sale, actually. The lady that was running the estate sale, there was a huge box of ironstone and wooden bowls. And I bought the whole box because they were a really good deal. And probably because they had the browning, they had their, all the finishes crackled, which I think is absolutely beautiful. You can see it's this is J&G Meekin, ironstone china from England. Um, so ironstone, these look really great in food photography. I use them a lot. This picture of cornbread that I took just a couple of weeks ago for a blog post. You can see I have the cornbread sitting on a couple of ironstone plates and also that you can see that little milk glass dish in the back that the butter's in. I use antiques and thrift things a lot in my photos. Another ironstone bowl. This one is Burgess ironstone. These are the two that I had in that picture. Stack, you know, stacking them, it adds texture, it adds interest. This one, you can't even hardly see. Davenport, J&G Meekin, so can't go wrong with ironstone. You can also just do plain white dishes if you can't find ironstone. Because like these, they're different, but you can easily mix them, match them. As long as they're plain white, they can go together. So all of my dishes that I use on a regular basis are plain white because they are so versatile. They have a clean look to them, bright white. That's what we like in the farmhouse. 
and then we'll wear. This is the picture that I talked about in my blog post that I love so much. It's definitely my favorite piece of enamel wear that I have. It was a big splurge for me. I got it at, a, at an antique store actually. But it is my favorite non-Christmas Christmas decoration. It looks so pretty with some greenery sticking out of it, some pine with pine cones or something like that for Christmas. It's one of my favorites. Love this picture so much. I also have some colanders. These colanders are both in good enough shape that I could use them. I just have them sitting up on my shelf to look pretty, but colanders and enamel wear. You can do fresh berries and fruit in the summertime. Also, I have this big bowl. In the spring, I took a picture of some chicks in this bowl. They're big chickens now. But I love these big bowls for fruit and such as that just really versatile for all kinds of stuff. And baskets. I really love baskets, but I'm kind of picky about the ones that I like and the ones that I'll buy because they are one of those bigger items that if you're not careful, they're going to cross that line between having some neat farmhouse decor and clutter. So you have to kind of be careful with baskets. This is the one I was talking about in my blog post that I found that I love so much. I just love the shape of it. It's small. We don't typically get tons of eggs a day, so it fits all of our eggs. So this is my egg basket. This is what we use every day to gather the eggs in. I really, really love it. It's the real deal. Also, this one, this was another splurge for me. I'm so glad I got it because it sits on top of my cabinet and it's just so pretty. I love it. So baskets are definitely something that are true, authentic farmhouse. These are the kind of things that ladies used and they did and they made so baskets and last but not least books old books are just so pretty you can put them in a little stack have them on a bookshelf with some other things i love a lot of them have the gold lettering like this one here it's just um it's actually embossed on the front they have so much detail and they're so pretty you can also use them just as the back sides of them to get some more texture in your home. Turn the one around the right way and a couple the wrong way. They just look really nice. No matter where you put them, you can sit them next to a lamp, on a bedstand, on a bookshelf, anywhere, and they look really nice. So those are a few of the things that I look for when I'm thrift store shopping, garage sailing. You can easily find things like baskets and old books and and then we'll wear all day long at garage sales if you take the time to look. It's not something that you're going to find overnight. You won't get your far authentic farmhouse decor that quickly. It's not something you can Amazon and have it in two days on your doorstep because they don't have the real deal on Amazon. If you're not necessarily into the authentic real farmhouse decor and you just want some stuff that looks like it, yeah, you can probably find some really nice stuff on Amazon. But if you want the real authentic stuff, you're going to have to shop around. Or if you have a really good budget, you can go to the antique store and pick some up quickly. I hope you enjoyed this look at authentic farmhouse decor that you can find at the thrift store and the garage sale and estate sales. If you just be patient, keep your eye out, and know what you're looking for. Because you don't want to get overboard and then end up with a whole bunch of stuff in your house that now you have to find out what someone to do with or get rid of because you overbought. So, hope you enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments below if there's something that you really love and you look for at the thrift store that I forgot to mention. And also, tell us what your best bargain that you found for your farmhouse decor has been. See y'all soon. Happy thrifting!